I want to take a moment to go over number 25 on the homework regarding systems of equations. Now, we've talked about isolating a variable and then substituting it. However, here we have a situation where we have the same variable isolated twice. We have y equals 2x minus 5. We also have y equals x plus 8. Now, the question might be, where's the substitution come in if both of these equations equal the same thing? Well, if they both equal the same thing, that means ultimately they're going to have the same value. So, what you can do is, let's see, right here we know y equals 2x minus 5. So, if I write the second equation here, which is y equals x plus 8, I can replace this y with this expression here. Because we've established that y equals two things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute this y with the expression over here. Again, because what we have established here is y equals 2x minus 5, and it also equals x plus 8. So that means if they both equal y, they have to equal each other. So now what I would do is I would just go about solving this like a typical to multi-step equation. So I want to isolate the variable first. I want to get the variables to one side. So I'm going to take away x from both sides. That would leave me with just 8 here. And then I would be left with x minus 5. Which is nice and easy. It's a nice one-step equation. Add 5 to each side. And then I get x equals 13. And now that I have a value for x... I can substitute x into either of these equations. The one I'm going to go with is I'm going to go with y plus 8. Why? Because <laughs> it's an easy one. So now that I have a value for x, I'm going to substitute it. So I'm going to get y equals 13 plus 8. 13 plus 8 gives me 21. So I, I've solved for y and x. I can now make an ordered pair. So my first value is always my input or my x, 13. My second value is always my output or my y. So there you go. If you end up with a system like this where you get two values for the same variable, then you can just send them to equal each other and then just go about solving it like a multi-step equation just like we did here. Hopefully this helps.